Well, it's kind of similar. Uh, next year, obviously, it's going to change uh, hugely with our with our new facility. But for for this year, we already have opened at uh, Lincoln it was a great opening meet for us. Uh, but really, at Minnesota Mankato meet is a good one for us. The South Dakota State meet is after that a meet that we're really pointing for. I think that's a meet where we're really shooting for good marks for that one. As we head into the, of course, the MIAA meet down at Pittsburgh and. Uh, our conference meets are just fantastic. So uh, we get a lot of great marks there, and the competition is just unbelievable. So, yes, schedule-wise, it all peaks to the MIAA. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Kevin Schultz comes back on our probably leading our men's program, and he's been an NCAA qualifier in the past. And uh, after his redshirt year, he's just tremendously improved. And I think in the decathlon, in the high jump, I think he's just going to be uh, definitely an impact person, I think even on a national basis. I think it's just definitely going to be – Kevin, um, as far as our throwers go, we get Caleb Mather back this year, and he was a, a top three all-conference person in the weight throw in the past and uh, had a shoulder surgery, and he's out for a year, but now he's back and competing. And then as far as our distance runners go, uh, Brandon Phipps, who broke our school record last year in the 5,000, and Wick Cunningham, uh, both of them all-conference people in the past and uh, top cross-country runners, and we're really looking for great things for them this year, leading our distance group. On our women's side, um, Certainly, Audrey Wishman uh, has been a great one, a national qualifier in the high jump, but now hugely improved in the heptathlon and the pentathlon. And then we have two very good uh, 400 runners in Jordan Hammond and Heba Magoob. And Jordan Hammond has picked up the 60-meter uh, hurdles this year uh, to go along with her 400 hurdles outdoors. And, of course, she'll run the 100 hurdles as well. But the short hurdles, she's never done before. And already she's run 887 there. And then um, as far as our distance runners and women go, uh, Sammy Lorenzo, who's uh, broke our school record in the 10,000 last year and also was an all-conference person uh, in the 5,000 and in the 3,000 uh, indoors last year. And then Melissa Shepard's a fifth-year senior, and she's just much improved and has already uh, made an impact in uh, the indoor meets already. Yeah, on our men's side, uh, you've got a number of good freshmen, but I think uh, one of them stands out at the moment, Kalen Harkey, uh, who's going to be, I think, just he's going to make an impact even as a freshman year. He's a very competitive 400 runner. And then we have a junior college transfer just came in in January named uh, K Kareem Achengli from uh, Iowa Central Community College, and he's been a tremendous distance runner, and he's going to be, uh, I think, an impact even on the national level uh, moving forward over the next two years. On our women's side, uh, Maya Gonter is a new uh, multi-event athlete, and although a freshman, uh, she's coming along very, very well, and I think she's someone who's also, like I said, talk about impact people. She's going to be one. It may take her a few meets to get really going, but she's going to be there. And then the other one is not a new person, a sophomore, Alex Koshel, but she's so much improved over last year uh, in the multi-events that I think she's going to be one that we're going to be counting on actually in several events as we go forward.